As it turns out, Elon Musk and Amber Heard's whirlwind romance may have more to it. It is possible that the corporate titan is not as invested in Amber as he had led the world to believe. Musk may have attempted to remove Amber Heard from Aquaman 2. Her most prominent part to date, why did Musk target Amber Heard? And was his alleged strategy successful? Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at Aquaman 2 director reveals who will replace Amber Heard. Yeah, you heard it right. Let's find out. It is no longer news that certain DC fans want Amber Heard removed from the upcoming Aquaman sequel, but you may be surprised to find out who is facilitating this change. A Twitter account indicated that her ex-boyfriend, Elon Musk, was responsible for the Amber replacement problem, and stressed the participation of corporate magnets. Moreover, it would be an understatement to suggest that the news report causing a sensation is astonishing. The post alleged that Aquaman director James Wan attempted to replace Amber Heard before the film's release. James Wan desired to replace Amber Heard in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom because Jason Momoa and Amber Heard lacked compatibility. The fans suggest that the director's acquaintance with Elon Musk may have had a role in the actress's near replacement in the picture. The tweet states, James Wan is acquainted with Elon Musk who dated Amber before the release of the original Aquaman film. Twitter uses went above and beyond to upload a series of images showcasing the infamous Tesla CEO posing with the director and producer Rob Cohen, both of whom had a significant impact on the making of the Aquaman films. Another shot showed Amber Heard posing with Jason Momoa and James Wan, all of whom appeared excited. But did Musk's purported strategy ever fail with his friend's assistance? We have doubts about that. Although Warner Brothers have not specified whether Heard would be removed from the highly anticipated film, it appears likely. Some of Amber's followers asserted that the director never intended for the performer to leave the franchise. According to certain views, Amber's role will endure despite the actress's multiple problems and legal battles. Despite being aware of any blowback to the franchise that may encounter, in 2021, Aquaman 2 producer Peter Safran announced that Amber Heard would reprise a role in the upcoming film, stating that if it's James Wan and Jason Momoa, then it should be Amber Heard. In response to this Twitter user, however, Papaya B stated that the producer merely feigned otherwise because he was blackmailed. She exhorted him, but the Warner Brothers producer and others wanted her gone. Moreover, she was the one who claimed it. Another Heard supporter stated that the blackmail rumors were fabricated and all this blackmail and other stuff is a fabrication of YouTube trolls obsessed with Johnny Depp. It appears to imply that the increasing amount of bad coverage surrounding Heard is not helping with her image. As of late, even Amber's ex-18-year-old boyfriend's daughter has come forward with some pretty nasty allegations against the Danish girl actress. Xavier Alexander Musk, who legally severed ties with their infamous father Elon Musk after a name and gender change, recently dished the major dirt on Amber's dating time with her billionaire dad, including allegations that she did drugs and brought minors to her scandalous parties. This corroborates the account of author Jessica Marie Krauss, who published an expose on Amber Heard, saying that she recorded her then-boyfriend Elon Musk while he was intoxicated at parties in order to blackmail him. Heard, through recording, obtained so much dirt on Elon Musk that she was able to blackmail the billionaire to the point where he remained her financial sponsor and paid her legal fees. Musk reportedly paid $500,000 of the actress's $1.3 million gift commitment to the American Civil Liberties Union on her behalf after her debt divorce settlement. Twitter users allege this is the real reason Amber Heard is still in Aquaman 2. James Wan is the director and Rob Cohen was a producer on the first Aquaman film. Despite WB's apparent reluctance to remove Amber from the superhero feature, the network revealed that Amber's screen time in Aquaman 2 was reduced to a lack of chemistry with co-star Jason Momoa. Jessica Kovacevic, her its agent, believes that there was more to the impulsive decision. According to her, Warner Brothers removed the majority of her lines from the March 2023 film. She said that she battled really hard to stay in the movie since she heard support for this claim during one of her court appearances. They didn't want her in the film, so she was given a script and then new versions of the script which removed sequences that highlighted her character's degeneration. Not only does this demonstrate the extent to which Heard's career has been negatively impacted by the scandalous defamation trial and her subsequent loss, but most believe that it pales in comparison to the tribulations that Depp has endured since losing the UK trial that labeled him as a perpetrator of domestic abuse, including his inability to host major projects such as Fantastic Beasts and the Pirates of the Caribbean. While there is no conclusive evidence of Elon Musk's involvement in Depp's state or Amber Heard's participation or non-participation in the Aquaman franchise, we do know that the DC series is taking a significant risk, the consequence of which will be known by December 2023. 
So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so that you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video.